Hello, this is Wampire. For today's lesson, we're going to be working with single knife. Make sure you use a training knife. Alright, so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that I want to do is we're going to work on the stab. Okay, nice and simple technique. So when we stab, um, you've probably heard that on the retraction we can cut. Okay, so in this case, if I'm holding the knife with the edge down right here, I stab, and then if I have something here, down here, like their hands right there, then as I retract, I can actually cut them. All right, that makes sense, right? So I'm stabbing and I'm aiming for uh, a main target, let's say, and then if their arm's right here, then as I bring it back, I can cut. So that's the main idea. Now, the other thing is, depending on where the secondary target is, all right? So the main target is like, I'm going for the main target with the stab, and then my secondary target, it could be like their arm. So if their arm's right here, right? So if their arm's right here, then I stab, I wanna be able to hit that. So in this case, I'm gonna stab like this, with the blade edge already facing this way. You see, if you guys can see that. So I'm gonna stab this way, and that way when I bring it back, I have the chance to cut as I retract. Same thing if the target's over here. I'm gonna hold the knife this way, with the edge is already facing this way. So I stab this way, and then as I bring it back, I have the chance to cut on the retraction. So all it is basically is I'm stabbing, but depending on my secondary target, I'm gonna change how I hold the knife. Okay, so it could be this way, it could be this way. So those are both sides. And then of course, where the blade edge is downwards. And then of course, I can hold it to where the blade edge is facing upwards. So I can stab and bring it back and cut on the retraction once again. So I have to look at my opponent here and see how they're standing and then I make a decision. So in this case, like right here, I'm gonna hold it with the edge facing this way to my left. So when I stab and I'm bringing it back, I'm actually cutting right here. But one thing that I want you guys to understand is like, okay, so imagine this is my opponent facing me this way and I'm right here. Okay, I'm not going like this and then making a huge swing, okay? It's not a stab and then a slash this way. That's not what I'm doing, okay? What I'm doing is right here, boom, boom, boom. So the stab goes in and I might even cut on the stab right here, all right? So then on, as I'm stabbing, I'm attacking and then I stab, so that's another attack, that's number two, and then on the pullback, there's another cut. So there, the possibility is three different attacks, okay? Possibility. I don't expect to, to land all three, but the main idea is this is it. You see, you see how it's not stab and then slash? It's not two motions. It's just forward and back. That's really all it is, okay? All right, so I want you guys to practice that, okay? Just change the way you're holding it, and then you're just gonna, you, you do your step, and then on the retraction, you're cutting, okay? Like I said, there's a possibility that you're gonna cut as you drive forward, and that's great if you do, but the main thing is to cut on the retraction. So stab and retract, stab and retract, see? And don't go like this, okay? You shouldn't be making a huge motion this way. It's basically boom, boom, boom. So it's a slight to the side, okay? So right now the edge is facing toward my, towards my right, so slightly goes, slight, I mean this is already over-exaggerated what I'm doing right here. So if target is right here, then boom, boom, boom. It looks pretty much straight, but there is that cut. Okay, so the next thing that I wanna talk about is the figure eight. The figure eight is something we do with the sticks, okay? Uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and draw an S first, and then finish with a diagonal upwards, okay? So draw an S with your knife, finish with a diagonal upwards, okay? So you're going one and two, one and two. So that's the motion right there. Uh, the thing about it is uh, in Eskrima, we do a lot of figure eight motions, and a lot of times the figure eight is sideways. It's an infinity sign, but in this case, the figure eight that we're drawing is a normal figure eight. It's vertical, it's, it's your standard, it looks like an eight, you know, the number eight. So uh, that's what we're doing here. So from the very top, draw an S and finish, finish with that diagonal line. So 
one, two, one, two, one, and two. Now, that's all great to be practicing that here, okay, but what we want to do is, since we're using the knife, be able to actually cut with it, all right? So, in that case, we need to go to this guy, okay, and then you're just going to go one and two, one and two, one, two, one, two, one, two. You're going to see that as we do this, uh, the figure eight is really, it's a very, very economical in your body mechanic motion, all right? So that's why it's in there with the sticks. So once again, right here, I'm drawing the S and this is where I cut down. And then now, as I come back up, I want to make sure that that cut is a legitimate cut that I'm actually cutting. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So relax the body and let the knife lead teach you how to move, okay? And, the, and that's why we also go with the sticks, because the sticks are longer, uh, the more momentum, and it's much easier to work on this kind of technique that way, to learn the proper body mechanics. But uh, when you go to the, something like the knife, the blade, now we can focus on the actual cutting part, so we can make it even more technical. So, one more time. So from here, you're gonna go one and two. One, this is an actual cut, and this is an actual cut as well. You can see how the body gets involved there. And now, um, I know a lot of people don't have something like this. I think the best thing that you could use is a door ledge. All right, same with the first exercise uh, that we were doing. Use a door ledge. All right, so you can see that I am using uh, the cold steel rubber knife. And uh, it's, it's relatively hard rubber, so it's, it's, uh, it does have some flexibility, but it's not like super, super cushiony and soft either. But if you use this on a regular wall, there's a chance that you can mark up your wall. So that's why I recommend a door ledge. Door ledge is extra sturdy. And then if, you, if it gets marked up a little bit, it doesn't look too bad, no one really cares. You know, you do it on the wall, then it's gonna really stand out. So I really recommend a door ledge. Okay, so that's it for now. Thank you for watching and take care, folks.